song will tell you the difference between them. Get ready now. How much makes me feel is a mood. What it's all about. The author's attitude. The author's attitude. The way I feel about the way I feel about the author's attitude. The way the author's attitude. The way the author's attitude. So now you know the difference between mood and tone, and that song's going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the night. The last thing we're going to discuss tonight is symbolism. Symbolism, or symbol, is a person, place, or object that stands for something beyond itself. There are different types of symbols. The first type of symbol is a conventional or universal symbol. With these symbols, um, we have things such as national symbols, religious symbols, and symbols for peace which usually have a universal meaning. They apply and are the same everywhere in the world. The second type of symbol is a literary or personal symbol. This symbol takes meaning from the context of a literary work. It means something special because, because of how it is used in the story. So, an example of both, the first one, a universal symbol, you would have the um, octagon, that is also known as a stop sign, would be the same in countries all over the world. So if you went to France, they would have the same red octagon that would mean stop, but it would just have stop in a different language on it. That is an example of a universal symbol. An example of a literary or personal symbol would be if I received um, a locket from my grandmother that locket would no longer just be a locket, it would be sentimental to me because it was given to me by my grandmother. That's an example of a personal symbol. And if that was a character in the story, that would be an example of how it would be used as a literary symbol. So take a look, or a look at these pictures, which are all examples of universal symbols. Do you know what they mean? At this time, go ahead and hit pause and see if you can write down what these symbols mean. Okay, so the very first symbol, what does this symbol indicate? This is a universal symbol for airport. The second symbol, what does the second symbol indicate? It indicates no or negative. The third symbol indicates handicapped. The fourth symbol would indicate no whatever is in the middle of the circle is allowed. So if there was a water bottle or a liquid inside of the circle, that would indicate that there's no water or no liquids allowed in the airport. And the very last symbol indicates recycle. That is all for tonight's video. Don't forget to complete your summary and ask your higher order thinking question. Bring it to class tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening.